Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today as we gather around the table once again to uh, speak with three more ladies that have had great success with the Shibboleth lifestyle. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, today I have with me uh, Denise, Sue, and Pam. Ladies, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. I know that uh, you've each had a great journey and uh, just like I did and, and still am uh, pursuing. But uh, one of the things that I think about is how each one of us have had some big life events to happen or obstacles, as some would say, or even an excuse uh, to keep us from doing this lifestyle. Uh, so that's kind of the theme that I'm wanting us to go with today. So as you introduce yourself, uh, talk to me a little bit about how you used your lifestyle or your life event to fuel getting your weight off. Denise, I know that you have lost, what, about 60 pounds? Yes. And so tell us a little bit about your journey. Uh, I started February the 20th of 2017, so it's about 31 weeks into it. Um, and I have lost 60 pounds. Um, it started, you know, I had a lady from church that was, she had started Shabola, and she said, you should try this. And I was like, I've tried it all. I'm good. I'm good. It's not going to work. It's like everything else. It's not going to work. Um, February, we was taking our Christmas tree down, and he took a picture of me before we took it down, and I was like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done with that person. Right. So you found your pain in a photo, yes. and so often that's what takes is we find our pain. It's either associated with a doctor visit or a photo or mm -hmm. a comment, you know, yeah. particularly from a spouse or, or, or from a loved one that fuels us. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Took control of your life, <laughs> no did. doubt. No doubt. Sue, tell us about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've lost 125 pounds. It's amazing. In 15 months. And um, it started with a doctor's visit where he told me that I was pre-diabetic and that if I didn't lose weight, he was going to have to put me on some medication. Well, I was already taking like 14 pills every morning. Wow. And I said, I just looked him straight in the face and said, no, I'm not taking any more pills. <sighs> and he said, well, then you're going to have to lose weight. And I said, okay, then I will. And uh, so the Shibola uh, meets at our church so I knew a lot of people that had been on it you know but it it's like Denise said when you've tried everything and it don't work mm -hmm. you're very skeptical about trying mm -hmm. something else but I thought well okay I've got to lose weight and he said I only had to lose 20 pounds that would keep me off of medicine oh wow well I started and there's been no turning back. I mean, it's been the most amazing journey I've ever been on in my life. And uh, it, I've had, it hasn't been easy and I've had lots of personal stuff going on. My husband has cancer and uh, lots of things he, uh, has been cancer free now for over a year, but he is still not well, and still suffering from the side effects of all the treatments and things. And so it, it hasn't been easy as far as that's concerned, but the program itself has been easy. And I think that's why I was able to uh, follow it during that time in my life was because if it hadn't have been something easy that I could do, yeah. I wouldn't have stuck with it because I had so much going on in my life at that time. Mm -hmm. My husband had to be put on a feeding tube because his body went into starvation mode because he couldn't swallow anything. And, and he literally was withering away right before my eyes. I mean, he lost 85 pounds in like a month. Mm -hmm. Just well, you found, uh, as so many have, is that when there's something like that going on in your family, and particularly.
particularly with your spouse, your food is one thing that you can control. Absolutely. Your body, your temple is one thing that you exactly. can have control Absolutely. over. Mm -hmm. And I think we can all four agree that that control is what takes root yeah. and that's when you keep pressing forward. Pam, same for you. I mean, Pam, my goodness, you've lost 79 pounds in what, 33 weeks? 33 weeks. I was yes. just fabulous. And I know you've had some life events happen for yourself as well. Tell us a little yeah. bit about how Shabolov has changed it. Changed it. <laughs> That's it. Um, my husband was sole provider. I've always been Susie Homemaker. Mm -hmm. And he worked 70, 80 hours a week. Um, October 5th of 2016, a tree limb hit him in the head. He suffered a subdural hematoma. We about lost him. And uh, he has now, he's disabled. He can't work. And the great part about that is um, his job don't stand behind him. 30 years on the company. And so from October to February 6th when I joined, we started struggling no money coming in, uh, started losing cars. We lost three vehicles, we lost our home. I lost my husband of 33 years. Mm -hmm. The man I married is gone. Uh, one Sunday morning at the altar. Sorry. You fine? I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. I told God that he had to get my life back for me. Because me being overweight, on medicines. I have an eight-year-old daughter that still lives at home. I have two more children that's 18 and 24, and a granddaughter that's four. But I wasn't able to take care of them the way he did. And I gave it to him that day. I gave it to God that day. And I told him, I'm leaving this for you. And I'm not picking it up. And you're going to have to carry every pound away from my body. And make me a person that is going to be able to take care of my family. And that was it. Uh, I'd already knew about Shavuot. I actually joined December 31st. But it took me to February 6th to finally get it right in my brain. God got a hold of me. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about that as a group, and we talk about that in our classes, is that that light bulb moment has to happen. Yes, yep. it does. You it know, does. we can have a doctor diagnosis, we can have a tragedy, we can have something happen, but that light bulb still has to go off. Uh, I mean, I used a lot of excuses to get to 330 pounds. You used a lot of excuses to get to where you were. Yeah. And we have to at some point say, okay, I can use those times as fuel to get me where I'm headed. Yeah. Uh, you talked about prescription medications. Are you the only one that's come off prescription, Sue? Or have, Denise, have you come off anything? No, I, I've thankfully never had to. Do okay. It. But, you know, it's. Uh, talking about the the doctors and stuff, you know, I, I had went to a doctor's visit and they had done blood work and stuff, and he was like, "Well, your liver enzymes are up," and I'm like, "Well, what could be wrong with me?" <laughs> and hearing the doctor say, "Well, it's because you're obese," right? And I'm like, "I hate that word." I do too. What? You know, I never found, you know, what being overweight can do to your body. You know, so struggling with weight wasn't a new... Oh, no. Okay. My entire life. Entire my, life. my adult life. Right. Sue, what about for you? Um, adult life or... Well, I, I was relatively small when my husband and I first got married. But it didn't last long. <laughs> 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 uh, and after I had my, especially after I had my first child, and I never did lose my weight back. I just mm -hmm. kept gaining and gaining and gaining. And then I, I was, when my son was born, 
even though I only gained seven pounds because I was so deathly sick, I weighed 240 pounds, I think, when he was born, the day he was born. And so I didn't lose much since I didn't gain much. And then I just ate. Kept going. And ate and ate and ate. <laughs> Pam, have you struggled your whole life with being overweight? Started at 28 years old okay. after I had my son. Right. And it just right. went downhill and from there. <laughs> <laughs> and we hear that a lot, you know, mm -hmm. that it started after I had my children, you know, that kind of thing. But the great thing about it is all of us are sitting here is saying, hey, girls, you can do this. Yes, you well, know, do me now. You, can, you can do this. It's 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 it, it is. It is. It is. It is. Yes. Uh, now, Pam, you do classes online because we have a phenomenal website. I have to throw that out there because <laughs> we don't want to miss talking about the website. That's all right. Um, yes. MyShabola.com has been a life changer and a life saver for many of us. Yes. yes. You do classes online. Yep. That's my extra Bible. The extra Bible. I like that. Uh, now, Sue, you attend classes uh, in person. Both. I both. do both. Okay. Uh, if I'm not able to get to the class, then I'll watch... Travis or Jason online to see, you know, what's going on. But right. I try to keep up with it <clears throat> regularly. Either way. Mm -hmm. And Denise, you're an onliner? Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Well, I love the online opportunity that uh, Shibboleth gives. I was noticing the other day, we, uh, as you all three know, our Facebook page that we have mm -hmm. for Shibboleth members only, I noticed a new member out in Nebraska, and I was like, yes, you know, I know we're represented in all states, mm -hmm. but it was just nice to see that uh, member interacting, and there was people from my hometown interacting with her, or someone from Florida interacting with her, so it's not just limited to our area uh, around this round table. So thank y'all for traveling today to be with us. Um, is there anything that you'd like to tell someone quickly about Shibola that you think they might not already know? Denise? If they haven't tried it, do not think that it is like any other weight loss program because I don't know of any other weight loss program that is surrounded with God. Pam? If you think it's too difficult because it's overwhelming at first when you see all that, stick with it. Two weeks. Start it's simple. Two weeks. Simple, yep. simple. Because mm -hmm. I'm 53 years old. There's no age limit to it. Right. Take your time and you can figure it out. Absolutely. It's the easiest thing in the world. Very don't get, good. don't panic. <laughs> that's right. Don't panic. No, that's right. I would agree with the thing about the age limit because I'm 65. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, ladies, we have come to a close. Uh, I, I named this table the warrior table because it certainly takes uh, some effort to get it going. Uh, We'll have another opportunity to sit down with some more ladies, uh, hopefully here in just the near future. But I thank you for joining us. And um, as we say in Shibboleth, have a perfect day. Mm -hmm.